Okay, so in this video, we're going to be covering enumerating APIs or backend APIs. And I see this in bug bounty programs sometimes, and I'm sure you guys have come across a page that looks exactly like this. You come in, you go to the URL, and you get some JSON in return. And I actually was looking through a bug bounty program just a few days ago, and I actually saw it said backend and then api.theprogram.com. And so uh, if you're new and you're not really sure how to enumerate APIs, then this video is going to be for you. We're going to keep it really short and specific so the way you can go out and do this yourself. Um, we're going to be looking at the box backend on Hack the Box, but we're not actually going to walk through the box. I just want to show you how to enumerate APIs because this is something that isn't covered in any courses or any certifications that I know of. So. If you come in to your terminal and you have an API like this and you come in here and you type in like V1 or you're typing in basically anything, you're just trying to figure out how do you get further down the line, you're looking for endpoints. The tool I like to use for API fuzzing is Fuff. So it looks just like this. If I can get here, Fuff, there we go. And I actually ran this just to make sure it was going to work before I did the video. So I like to run fuff and then you give it the URL and this is the API and then we're going to be fuzzing for an endpoint. And then you give it a word list that you want to use. Uh, GoBuster and Derb and a lot of those, uh, your usual fuzzing tools just don't work with API. So I like fuff because it does work. And you run this. And you see it pulls down docs and API. So if you were to do this like in a live program, you'd come in here and you just type in API. And then it says we have V1. So you can just type in V1. And then you'll have user. And you can kind of see if we wanted to look for more endpoints, we could just close out of this. And we would just move our fuzzer over. So you would just go like this. And then it would fuzz right here. And it would look for more endpoints over on this point. So that's how this fuzzing APIs work. If you're interested, you can go ahead and do the box, hack the box. It's actually really simple. Uh, you just create a username using the API. So you'll use burp, you'll just intercept the request and it'll send you back a JSON um, of what you need. And then you can make turn your request into a post request and make a username and password and log in. So this is API fuzzing. You'll see these on bug bounty programs and sometimes you'll come across them in hack the box machines. But this is something that's not really covered. So I wanted to make a quick video on API fuzzing and uh, bug bounty. So sometimes you can find an API, uh, an API URL like this and you can just start fuzzing away and see what information you can come back with and manipulating um, the request. So that is API fuzzing.